because number one way you can succeed or survive in the critical time of season and, and season number one is by the grace of God say by the grace of God you study and study and you're not passing you're not crossing you're not crossing over you've been trying to do all you could in your business you put up all the strategies you you have devised all the you know plans and and the ways of trying to you know do better in your business and yet you're seeing low incomes you're seeing low profits today god will expand you the only way you can survive in this time and season of our life is to plug into God's grace. God's grace. The Bible said in Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. Can we read verse 6? Let's read. Then he answered and spake unto me saying this is the word of the Lord unto put your name there Pastor Christ your name I put your name saying not by might not by power but by my spirit says the Lord of hosts. If you wake up every day to go for your business, for your job, for your career, for your ministry, whatever you, you do, and you want to see, you know, profits and betterness and progress in it, just wake up with this scripture in your mind. That I am not going to work because I'm the best. Or I know better than others. But I go out today by the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God cannot fail. But your might can fail. Your power can fail. It means power can connote money. Might can, can imply strategies and plannings. Your structures. Whatever system you're running, this can, they can mean might and power. But the spirit is higher than might and power. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. By grace, that money will come by grace. That business will drop by grace. Eh? It's not my my power. Yes, you can talk to men, but men are not qualified. They are not. They are not given the capacity to help you. I will look up to the hill where comes my help. My help will not come from the president of Nigeria. I don't care their policies. I don't care what they are talking about in television. My help shall come from the Lord who made Nigeria, who made America, who made United Kingdom, who made South Africa. Shall my help, all of my help, come from the Lord? all of them he said but by the grace of god read with me brothers and sisters make it a personal thing read one to read but by the grace of god i am what i am and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain but i labor more abundantly than they all yet i not i but the grace of God which was with me I declare grace upon you grace upon your business grace upon your finances grace upon your ministry grace upon your marriage grace upon your career grace upon your job grace grace upon your academics shout grace you know when we talk about grace grace is a supernatural ability of God in humanity to cause him to fulfill. Listen, we, 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 grace is in two phases. Grace to be and grace to do. Now the Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 12, as many as receive him to them that he gave the power to be. To be means to become. So there is grace for us to become the children of God to come into the family of God and that grace is for transportation transmission transfiguration bringing you from the realm of fleshly and unrighteous you know, personality into a man that I've never seen before a man that I've never have any record of yesterday or the past the Bible says if a man be in Christ he is a new creature all things are passed away behold all things becomes new but it doesn't stop there so you can actually be a child of God and die poor if you don't activate the furtherance of grace 
it has said grow in grace great grow in the knowledge of grace expand your capacity grace to do entails grace for divine empowerment it has to do with the empowerment of the spirit it has to do with the empowerment of anointing the bible says, talking about jesus luke chapter 4 verse 18 he said the spirit of god is upon me because he has anointed me to do so the grace i'm talking about this morning is not a grace to be because you're already born again except you're not but today you're going to encounter god this morning but grace to be has been offered to us free but grace to do you need to develop to assess because if you are to do god need to empower you and for god to allow you fulfill his purpose for you on earth he needs that grace to do and that's why jesus received before you can embark on his ministry he has to wait until that grace drop remember what i just read it's not by power it's not by mind but by the spirit that grace to do come through the holy spirit that's why he said tarry here in jerusalem until you are endued from the power that comes from on high luke chapter 24 verse 49 are you hear what i'm saying this morning so you cannot be like this grace to do your business effectively grace to strategize to attract customers grace to execute that contract grace to have foresight or what idea to trade the innovation to bring into your business is upon you right now receive it right now receive it right now receive that grace grace to do ministry receive it how jesus was anointed with holy spirit and with power who went about doing say doing 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 i want to deliver baby doing power to deliver <laughs> i want to get visa power to get visa some people have tried to go through school but they fell at the middle of their of their journey some people have been looking for job for 10 years grace to do is not yet available the grace of the lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy ghost be with you all that's my prayer for you be with you and your family in the name of jesus